It's Friday, man. Uh, high school football on tonight. Not that I'm going to be watching. Um, just just had my second cup of coffee, so I'm kind of hyped. Um, I thought this video was started. But, yeah, this Dallas Wilson currently committed to Oregon. He's been committed to Oregon since, like, January. Um, Tampa Bay Tech, I believe. Uh, 6'3". As he just said, um, I think this video sped up because this looked kind of crazy, uh, just how fast he was moving here. <laughs> I mean, look at him out of his stance, like, right away. Um, Maybe it's the caffeine, but I feel like things should slow down if I've had a lot of, lot of caffeine. But right out of the gate, I think that video was sped up. So I, I talk a lot about this with the taller receivers where they're 6'3", 6'4", or whatever. They're real skinny, right? They look like, you know, if you had a safety coming over on a slant, you know, they'd just almost break in half. For a 17-year-old, this kid's filled out. Like, you can tell me this video's not sped up. I don't know if it's like the way the the camera's shaking or what, but it just looks like not natural. But I mean, then you watch these other ones and it looks he's fast, but you know not as crazy as the other ones. But Between this kid and DeCorian Moore, Oregon slated to have uh, two two very special receivers joining uh, them next year. Um, this kid's pretty good. Uh, he's a nice he's a nice balance to what DeCorian Moore brings. I think he's a hell of an athlete, but he's on the bigger end. While DeCorian's like five ten, five nine, but he is like he's a good good receiver talent. Very hell of an athlete. Uh, where this kid's more of, um, like I said, more of a physical presence than DeCorian is. Like I was saying before, he's he's got a good filled out frame though. Uh, pretty impressive. Looks like a weight room guy. Looks clean out of his stance. Change of direction looks pretty easy. Uh, not a whole lot of um, delay with that. Didn't buckle his helmet on that one. Great vert. He's a very well-rounded prospect. To me, he doesn't do anything at, like, a, a crazy level. But, I mean, nobody does. He's, he's just well-rounded. He does everything pretty good. <laughs> I know that's very vague, and it sounds like I'm just saying stuff just to say it. But, I mean, his long speed's not as elite. You know, his frame's not... He's not 6'5". He's not crazy explosive. However, he does everything at a good level, I think, in a way that no other receiver in this class that I've seen has yet. A lot of them, it's like they have one trait that their whole game's on, one or two or three. This kid's just very well-rounded. and Honestly, you'd probably prefer to have that because then you can develop one of them at the next level. Whereas it's kind of like, what is the upside with a, with a guy that's just a 40-yard dash guy, right?
Those guys don't really work out. Good, he's just good at just good route runner. <laughs> like here, I, it's a longer video, so I'm not trying to go back all that much, but it looked pretty clean out of the break to me. Just assume he caught that one. You see, they've ran these uh, tunnel screens a couple times now. Not on this one, really, but the other time. Saw some good short area quickness, you know, some good change of direction uh, with the ball in his hands. You talk about him at all three phases as a receiver. He's, he's good with the ball in his hands. He's good before he has the ball in his hands. And he's good at the catch point. Like I said, well-rounded. Very, and he... Um, 24-7 has him as a four-star, but he's a five-star in their composite. I'd totally co-sign on that. Some of these is like, I don't know if these are sped up or not. Like, this whole time I've just been tampering my my um, reaction. But, I mean, looking at him out of his stance here is just very explosive. Very clean, no wasted motion. Dude's fat ass head was in the way of that one, but. Yeah, he is pretty twitchy. Sudden, you know, stop start stuff. So, I know, like, you're watching this, it doesn't sound like I'm um, like him all that much, but he's probably going to end up being graded as one of the higher receivers in the class. Probably the highest. And I've watched a lot of receivers. So I'm gonna give him go ahead and give him a five on the frame. Like literally, I want to give him a five on everything here. Um, five on the ball skills. I'm gonna give him a four on the long speed. Didn't really see him in that breakaway type, and then a five on the on the short area quickness. To me, like some these two very well could be a six. I'm I'm just kind of tampering just because that's what I do, tempering rather. Um, so he's get rated out to an eighty, which is kind of lower. But you take a look at these guys, a lot of these guys have some actual stuff to work. It was for Jerome Miles. I liked a whole lot. Like, I don't want his grade looking low compared to these guys. Make me sound like I don't really like him. I just really like some of these. These talents are kind of next level. But Dallas Wilson, hell of a receiver, very well rounded. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Anything else? Uh, you guys, any other information? Thank you. Y'all have a good one.